Irish dancing is vibrant, it's unique, it's danced to beautiful music, all different types of music, but the music is distinct. Uh, I think when you hear the fiddle and all the different instruments that are associated with Irish dance, it brings joy. It's so much fun. One, two, cut, da 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 da, one, two, cut, da 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 da, two there. Then go step and skip and up and there, bum, pull up. You know, what's interesting about Irish is I've been teaching it now for 20 years here. I remember watching films of the world champions and I was amazed at how they could stay up in the air and come down just past the tip of the toe, but the energy is accented up. It takes a lot of technique to be able to keep your weight off your legs and let those feet relax. The hardest thing really is separating all the parts of the body, but keeping them as a whole. You have to be pressing through your feet, you have to be really using your toes and remembering that your toes are what propel you off the floor along with the plie. The hard shoe has obviously a different feel. It's dynamic. The moment those shoes start, hard shoes are made of leather, but on the sole of hard shoes, on the tip, if you could imagine a tap shoe, but instead of the tap, the metal tap, it is a fiberglass and very loud. The soft shoe is more balletic in the sense of the lyrical feel to it. Even though some of the moves are sharp and the leaps are higher, you'll have more dynamic lifting off leaps in soft shoe than you will in hard shoe. It's all very beautiful. And the contrast is what makes Irish dancing in itself unique and much more interesting. Uh, the rehearsals that we're at right now as you can see, are preparing for St. Patrick's Day and also from different performances throughout the year. But if you watch the dancers, like from the rehearsals here in February to the level that they get to by December, it's quite remarkable. We're very fortunate because of the type of company that we've grown into and it's taken a lot of work. We've strived to become the best that we can be. The groups range from the peewees to the wee Irish to the advanced wees to the new juniors, then the junior girls, then the, they become new seniors and then the senior girls and then the senior girls become soloists. Watching some of my more senior dancers teach and mentor the younger ones and at some of the steps that they did when they were in choreography that they did when they were little. And that is so rewarding. I have been doing Irish dancing for about six years. Each part is so unique and special. The music for sure is what drives it, but without the community and the social aspect, you wouldn't really have the music, or you can take the, way, the music away and we can make the music ourselves if we needed to. And there's your bows. Up, 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 up. My heart was truly with watching the young children grow in the company and learning how to perform and just carrying that through and being part of the part of this beautiful company that we have. And not everybody stays with it, but the ones with a passion do. And that's my favorite. We have the same passion to perform. It's wonderful. Yeah.